we've talked about uh, using new strategy, new tactics to get more work. There's uh, a modification of an old idea, and that is creating business plans. And the iron workers are spearheading their local unions, really developing articulate, well-developed, very specific business plans. One of the things that we've done is I've talked to General Secretary Pixa, and I asked him to spearhead a standardization of best practices for the local unions on its business operation. Now we've doing we've been doing that to some extent with the key performance indicators and we take the best and most well run locals and we try and emulate those core competencies in all locals. But some of that is without a blueprint or without a plan, they didn't have any direction on where to go. So we engaged FMI FMI came out and talked to a lot of local unions and they looked for what were the best areas uh, that you could go. But, you know, General President Dean, General Secretary Picks, uh, General Treasurer Evers, we can have the greatest ideas in the world. It's got to be implemented by the boots in the ground. So the organizing happens at the local union level, the selling of oneself, the improving of delivery of instruction. So these business plans get the executive board and the leadership of the local on board with a direction and a narrative. And it might be simply improving the finances of the local, implementing greater training efficiency, adding more organizing. But what they do is they actually put a business plan together and map it down. And then in a coordinated effort with their contributing employers, they actually go and identify underserved markets or markets where they hadn't been in a while, like we talked about in a yeah. previous uh, par uh, you know, topic. Mm -hmm. It really makes the contractors happy to see this effort. You know, we have to put together business plans for a bank, for a surety, for insurance company. And, and it's also just the way to run your company. You have to have something you can measure against to uh, see if, if you're improving or getting better or if you're just staying still. This effort by labor I th is well applauded throughout all the contractor world because it's, a, it's definitely it's an optic showing, hey, we are really trying to prove, improve ourselves from within. We still have democratic locals and the members pick their leaders, but when one leader leaves, you could pick up a playbook and okay. you're not, if you were uh, o overthrowing regime change through the democratic election process, mm -hmm. A lot of times the past person isn't always so helpful in where we're at. If you have a complete regime change or partial, it gives an ongoing document. And they're never um, memorialized. They're chiseled in stone. They're right. fluid, yeah. and they need Little. to change from time to time. But uh, it, it allows people to act. They're in the business of running a labor organization that provides training, benefits, wages, and it's more time they act in addition to a fraternal organization, like a business organization that's in the business of organizing and, and training and providing skilled labor to the construction industry. Indeed. 